says, I sin and death came through one man, Adam. That eternal life, grace and mercy came through one man. And that one man was called Jesus Christ. His name is Salvation. He binds us all as we know him as your personal Lord and Saviour. Not if you've heard about him, not if you've been to a church or seen him on a wooden or stone or metal cross or idol. Jesus died on that cross 2,000 years ago for our sin. And as the Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son for those who believe on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Today is day four of the Feast of Hanukkah. I'm not sure if Glasgow has gone Jewish because Hanukkah means the Feast of Lights. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. So you see these lights all around. Uh, even in Israel, they put lights up, they light candles. And that's to do with uh, oil that lasted. Um, during the second, second temple period. And if you read John 10, which we will again shortly, from the Gospel of John chapter 10, uh, Jesus preached in Jerusalem on the Feast of Light, saying, I am the light of the world. The Bible talks about that God is light, and in him is no darkness whatsoever. Our nature is fallen. Our nature is subject to our flesh. And it means that we are sinners before God. Hallelujah. Praise <laughs> God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> So we were at day four of the Feast of Hanukkah. Jesus says, I have come to fulfill the commandments of God. I've not came to do away with them. In the third century, Constantine, the Roman Emperor, um, merged Catholicism with Christianity. Originally, these festivals were in honor of the sun god. It was called Mithras. Saturnalia lasted for 12 days, where there'd be revelry, kissing under the mistletoe, getting drunk, and so on and so on. So that's where Christ mask comes from, not the true Christ. But if you want to speak about the true Christ, he's the light of the world. He's represented by the Jewish festivals, and uh, he spoke to the Jewish people on the Feast of Lights. That's uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 10. Hallelujah. The most important thing is, maybe you don't understand about all these festivals and feasts, the most important thing is, is knowing the light of the world, Jesus Christ, being born again of his Spirit. His Spirit is light and truth. And it says his apostles, his disciples, are commanded to be salt and light in this world. Is that what you are, salt and light? Or were you like me when I was your age? I used to go out drinking at this time of year, doing things I shouldn't have been doing until Jesus got a hold of my life. Being a Christian for over 20 years, I know I don't look a day over 21, but it's true. I'm actually uh, been a Christian for over 20 years, and the Lord has refined me according to His Spirit met many people who have been in addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, and so on. And Jesus has come into their life, and they've been born again according to the, the Spirit of God. And so that's what I'm telling you today. It is possible to know God. It is possible to be forgiven of your sin. It's possible to have a relationship with the living God. Don't put it off like I did here also as a testimony from the Lord and we've been out here 
couple of times this week giving testimonies and singing praises to God. Because God says he inhabits the praises of his people. And so there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power when you say his name and you begin to praise the name of the Son of God. His Hebrew name is Yeshua. It means the deliverer, the salvation of God. When you begin to praise Jesus' name, it will empower you against Satan's kingdom. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, God says, I shall put your sin as far as the east is from the west. He says, come let us reason together, even though your sins are like crimson, I shall make them look like the driven snow. Not many of us tonight look like the driven snow. I tell you that. They look more crimson, more like Santa's little elves, or Santa himself. Which is an anagram of Satan, it's not in the Bible, Santa is not found in scripture, Christmas is not found in scripture, it's neither the day that Jesus died or the day that he was born, it's a pagan festival in honour of the Son of God, not the Son of God, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but this festival, Christ Mass, is in honour of the Son of God. And, uh, Jesus came as the Passover lamb. He came to fulfill the Jewish festivals, as I said. He's the light of the world, the Feast of Lights. He became the Passover lamb on the Feast of Passover for the forgiveness of your sin. The Holy Spirit was given at Pentecost, and Jesus would have been born during the Feast of Booths when they were commanded to go out and build a temporary dwelling. And also that's said to be the time that God, that Jesus will set up his kingdom on the earth. Many Christians don't even know that Jesus is coming back very soon. If you're a Christian, understand that the Bible says the earth shall be judged with fire, just like it was in the days of Noah. It was judged by water. And God gave a covenant of a rainbow where he said that he's no longer going to judge the earth by water. But if you read the Bible, Second Peter, it talks about a judgment of fire. None of us know how that's going to happen. I think even uh, Nostradamus talked about that. He talked about a fire coming out of Geneva. So you could always speculate how it's going to happen. We don't know. But the earth is going to be judged by fire. And the Apostle Peter says, in knowing this, how should you live your life? In knowing that everything that you're living for and probably building up on this earth is going to be incinerated with fire. How should you live your life? The Bible is trying to tell you you've got a soul. You have a spirit that lives inside of you. And is held accountable for every work and beating that you do. Every single one of us, including myself, is going to stand before the, the very throne of God and be judged. It says the first resurrection will be the saints, the second resurrection will be the rest of the world, and you'll be judged according to your works. But the saints have already repented, have already accepted Jesus, and it's going to, you know, Jesus comes back, the Bible says, according to the book of Revelation, he will set up his kingdom for 1,000 years on this earth. And so that's what you've got to look forward to if you're a Christian. If you're not a Christian, maybe you don't believe there is a God, maybe you don't believe God loves you, maybe you believe in Santa Claus. Sorry? Do, am I doing this for a bet? <laughs> You're funny. Thank you. Thanks for that. No, I'm out preaching the gospel. I'm out preaching the gospel. And it's not for a bet. This is not for a bet. Um, God loves you very, very much. Jesus Christ died for your, your sin. I don't know how many times you may have heard the gospel. But God brought us out tonight just to share the word with you tonight. If you need any prayer, 
agree with us. If you want to take any Bible tracts away with you, read a little bit more about Jesus, come and see us. But we're out to just uh, preach the word and pray for you tonight. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed of God. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed of God. All right, ladies. You love Jesus? You love Jesus? I love your dog. You love my dog? I love your dog. I love And who, who made the dog? God or? I don't know. Another dog. Another dog made this dog. Okay. Right. And where, 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 did, where did that dog come from? You know? Jesus. 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 Keep it going. We'll see how long that lasts for. Keep it going. <laughs> Alright, pal. Is your father? Yes, sir. Do you believe Jesus Christ is God? The confession was that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also the Word of God. And so, I believe that Jesus functions within the Godhead according to the Bible. Correct. I believe that Apostle Paul taught that the head of Jesus is the Father, the head of the church is Jesus Christ, the head of the woman is man, and the uh, women are the head of the children, women needs the children. So that was the sort of order that Apostle Paul gave thanks. So, uh, what do you believe the name of God is? Yoti Rafi means uh, I am, I am what I am, I'll be what I'll be. The one who was, who is, who is to come, it's a past, present, future tense name. Only God can have that name because so that's what I believe God's name is. And, and also use what I use the KJ3 Bible as well. I've discovered that's probably the best uh, word for word translation. The literal translation is probably. Brilliant, mate. Brilliant. Alright, we actually we've got some Bible tracks. Yeah, I've got a, a track for you. you. You're obviously a Christian can then. You right? that, John? How long have you been a Christian for? He, he's a Christian, don't you give him any Bible tracks? Oh, right, right, right. You're born on Christmas Day. Yeah. So. I, I think I was Christ born mass. Christ Mass. Well, again, I don't believe it was when Jesus was born or when he died. I mean, uh, correct, correct. I mean, Hanukkah is sometimes around Christmas as well. It's around that time, so when I die, I hope I. I, hope I end. That's why we've got to be born again. Are you born again? You're going to be quiet, I pray, I pray you pray for me, man. Do you, do you need, what do you need prayer for? Um, I've lost my mind, man. Taking Wait. drugs. Drinking. Drinking. Student, yeah. Nobody's there for me. I have no friends or family. Where are you from? I don't know. Um, I had a bad relationship with my family. I got like, sexually attacked in, yeah. uh, in the place that they said I was from. But I'm not really from there. God even saved me from that. Um, <coughs> I don't even know how to explain it. So is it like your stepdad or just like... It's a dude that claimed he was my friend but wasn't my friend. But then I had a friend anyway because my dad had a bad relationship with him. My older brother also had a bad relationship with him. And yeah. it turns out my sister who tried to involve me and go to church had already gone to church. and received my first Bible when I was 12. Even beforehand. Those things hidden within, you know what I'm saying? You're going from Newcastle, I, I'm trying to... That's where I sort of grew up. Is it really? Yeah. I was there last year, I was in Newcastle I last year. I hate that place. The gates here and that. Well, I wasn't here, but... I mean, guys are tight, man. No. <laughs> I've some men a couple of times, man. <laughs> but, um, it's hard to find a decent church. I mean, even we're not a regular at any church. I, I can't... Um, my heart's not receptive to it anymore, you know, like... What church? The gospel, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I've, I've come to a point where, like, my head and my, my mind and my heart is so broken, so broken and destroyed that I, I can't seem to take the word in anymore unless I read it aloud. I just can't take it more. It's, pro it's probably, I, I would think you got demons of alcohol. And these demons are probably um, not giving you a desire for the Word of God. Yeah. Because these demons are giving you a, a desire for drink. Yeah. These demons are giving you a desire for what they want. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't like the enemy at all. What, what, what's your name again? Zach. Zach. Zachariah. Oh. Grace prophet in the Old Testament. It's about four feet there. I'm losing it, man. I don't, 
I don't recognise my own name. <coughs> I don't know if like I would be like I have like ID documents in my bag and stuff of yeah. my own name and who I am and shit like that, but I don't recognise my own name. When I say it aloud, it's like I'm embarrassed. I don't know if now would be the best time for me to pay for you, but you could exchange numbers. Uh, to exchange I've got a SIM card, man. You don't have a SIM card? I've lost it. Oh, wait. Well, bless you. I'm, um, I'm trying to come out every day to eat. He's coming out every tonight. day. <laughs> so maybe I'll be in tomorrow. Yeah. I could meet you tomorrow somewhere and maybe try and pray for you. I'll pray for you now before you go. Yeah, I might pray but for you now as well. I would rather, you know what I mean, maybe just meet up for a good half hour now, go for a cup of tea, pray, something like that, you know what I mean? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for it. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come against any powers, principalities, Lord Jesus, which are trying to um, take them away, Father, from your um, Son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Just bind these demons up, Lord Jesus. We just uh, command any of these demons, Lord, just to um, be bound. We just ask, Father, just please return to exactly the right relationship with you through your Son. Yeshua and Messiah, Lord. Just pray to go with him, Father. Everything he's doing, Lord Jesus, just make a way for him. Speak to him, Lord Master, to him through your spirit, Lord, even through your word. The written word through your Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. I just pray just now that God's trying. It feels as if God does want to speak to you, but I don't know, say mm. something to you or something. But mm. God, I just, just pray about it. You know what I mean? Pray for your power to come on him just now, Lord, yeah. over all this darkness and these dark areas in his mind, which are controlling his, his, his thoughts. And I bind him and I rebuke him in Jesus' name, in that mighty name. Do you like music? Not really. Not really. Have you aspired to, to, to play any instruments or anything like that? Guitar? Guitar? The Lord could use you in that. If, 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 if you let the Lord lead you, uh, he'll, he's got a plan for you to serve him. And just like I'm serving him, the Lord has a plan for you to serve him as well. And um, so I just, I just bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Just going to pray for your mind, obviously, you just feeling up, just pray for them. But my Father, I just know that your word says about the breastplate of righteousness, Lord. And maybe that's the part of Zach, Father, that's been attacked by the devil. So we just pray to restore that breastplate of righteousness and pray across Zach's chest, Lord. Just pray, Father, you just send your ministering angels, Lord, to build them up again, according to your word, according to your spirit, Lord Jesus. But your blood is dealt with the sin, there's nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, Father, we just pray about um, any demons, Father, which are stopping and forgiving anyone, Lord Jesus. And I know it's a huge thing. I just pray, Father, for mercy and forgiveness. We pour down on these life fast, Father, for that same mercy and forgiveness, Lord. We pour down on people who have mistreated them, Lord Jesus. You just want to try and pray about that, or you just in your own time. I don't Trouble want to force you, but where I have faith, my lungs. Uh, there. So there's a problem there. You're not smoking. I do smoke. Yeah. Uh, Find that demon of cigarette addiction. Follow. Just, you just come against every demon. Follow them. Smoking addictions, Lord Jesus, and drinking addictions, Lord. Just come against every one of these demons right now. Just come on, fire of the Holy Spirit to be on Zach. Fire of the Holy Spirit, not fire. Pray and ask that you bring this man back to you and your power and your glory and for your will's sake and for Jesus' sake, for Jesus' name's sake. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, feel. Just, you got to try and give your life again to the Lord. I can, I can meet you again tomorrow. We can pray Keep more. Keep having nightmares about being beheaded. Well, that's a good thing because it, the Bible says that if you're out of the body, then you'll be present like with the Lord. Yeah. So that you should. Be, I know it's, I know it's a hard thing to learn and enjoy. It's like someone's planning. Someone's planning to do it. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come against any plans of the devil. Um, 
for this man, Lord Jesus, but we know that there's um, demons probably just giving him these visions, but if it's from you, Lord Jesus, we just pray, pray this so to meet you, Lord Jesus, if it's from you, if it's not from you, Lord Jesus, we just bind these demons, we just bind these demons now, Lord, and we just cast them away, because you, I believe you've got a plan for this man to serve you, Lord, I believe you've got a plan to prosper this man, and he's, he's not, that's not going to happen to him, and so we just... We just know the Bible verse that says that every weapon formed against you, Zach, shall not prosper. Shall not prosper. According to the word of God. Are you prepared to read the word, read the word again? Give, we dedicate your life to God. That's what I feel is a this is the feast of dedication. It's all about dedicating your life to God. I mean we're out here as crazy who come out at half past nine on a Thursday night. God's got us out here, do you know what I mean? It's, it's about dedication this week. Think about dedication. Think about dedicating your life to God. Know that God is on your side. The creator of the I've universe is it. on your side. I've said it and waited and waited for an answer, but nothing ever comes. But, but I feel that that's the answer. You you need to dedicate your life to God, because then He can help you in your situation. You dedicate your life to God. As I say, it's all about getting built up in the Holy Spirit. Right? And... and you know, God has got a plan. I, I believe, I, I just see, God just asked me about the, the, the music part of things, so that's just something that God spoke to me about in five minutes, just praying. So I feel as if, if you can devote your life to Christ again, I mean, the blood is there for us all, every one of us. There's not a sin that we've done that God can't forgive, that Jesus hasn't dealt with on the cross. I mean, all the, believe, the true believers that I know, Zach, we're all going through certain problems, health problems, addiction problems, financial problems, family problems, including myself. I know that all the true people that are called by God, is Satan throws the kitchen sink at them. He throws everything at us, man. Because because, why? Because, you know, Satan used to be an angel in heaven. He does not want you to go up there and take his place with the rest of the saints. That's what God is doing. I mean, Satan's fall. He's lost his place in heaven. He's jealous of us. He's very insanely jealous of, of us, what Jesus is doing in our life. You know what I mean? Insanely jealous. That's what Satan is. I feel like you, you, you need to get the Bible and say, I have God. This is, this is the answer for me. And just hold on to that. Take that a step at a time, Zach. A step at a time. I've been that for years. I've been a Christian for like 14 years. I've been a Christian for about 25 years. And it's been, it's been, but at the end of the day, it's a battle. You know, it's like if, 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 you, if you're why, fighting, why if you're fighting an army, so, so, sometimes if you're fighting an army, the, the, the other side gets a bit of a, you know, gets a bit of a surge sometimes, and you've got to be sort of defend and go back a wee bit. But then there's a time you've got to move forward with Jesus again, you know what I mean? It says that a, a, a righteous man, and I believe. You are a righteous man, Zach. I believe you're righteous because you have set your faith on the Lord above. You know that he exists, you know he's real. Right? And so it says that a righteous man shall not fear armies. A thousand shall fall at your left hand, ten thousand at your right hand. Do you think? Just think back here. I, I, I march into uh, mosques for the Bible and share Jesus with, with Muslims. I spent four and a half years in the town with a mosque in it, and it's only occupied by Muslims in the church. I speak to Muslims every day. I'm coming out preaching right. I go into mosques. There's things that I say they cannot answer what I'm showing them in the Quran about Jesus. They can't answer it. I feel like God's got his hand on that person. So he's been a Christian in that. Yeah, yeah. But I think he needs to let go of all that unforgiveness he's got of those people that have abused him and that. Here's number four of the feast of dedication, according to the Bible. We read the Gospel of John, chapter 10. Jesus preached in the temple during the feast of dedication, the feast of lights. Have you dedicated your life to God? Do you understand what the Gospel is? You understand that Jesus is real. He came to fulfill God's commandments. That He's alive right now. 
that God is the judge of the earth, but he's also the saviour of the world. Religion cannot save us. Hallelujah. Jesus can save you. If you allow that to happen in your life, if you seek, you shall find. If you do not seek, you shall not find. That's how God works. If you seek him, you shall find him. If you don't seek God, you will never find him. You'll always be a skeptic. So it's up to you. The choice is yours. Are you willing to bet your eternal life that hell is not real? Are you willing to bet your soul that God is not real? Pray Russian roulette with your soul. Are you willing to do that? Or are you willing to seek God and find out that he is real? Hallelujah. What's more scary? The theory of evolution says we are actually moving through this universe at 60,000 miles an hour without a driver. Or what is scarier? The fact that there is a God, there's a creator who created all things, including your soul, and that you will meet him one day. So which is scarier? Many people say that they do not believe in God, and yet they have a hatred for God. And so how is that logical? They say that how can there be a God if there is famines, there is bad things, there is evil in the world, how can there be a God? Now the very fact that you have resentment towards God does not prove that there is no God. It actually proves there is a God. It proves that your relationship with God is not right. Your relationship with God is filled with anger, hatred, blame, etc, etc, etc. Jesus came to die for you, a lost sinner. He came to die for me, a lost sinner. The only difference is that I chose to seek God and I found him through his son, Jesus Christ. I testify that he is the word of God, he is the son of the living God, and that no one shall be saved except through Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Messiah. No soul can be saved except through the plan of salvation that God achieved through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. If you saw a picture of heaven, and a picture of hell right now. No one would want to go to hell because hell is not a place that any one would like to go to if they actually saw where it was. Or if you saw heaven, you would want to go there. But heaven is holy. Heaven is where God is. We are unrighteous. We are fallen. Many of us do not seek God. We actually hate God in our hearts. We blame God for things which happen to us. That's a natural reaction sometimes, but it's not a logical reaction. It can be a natural reaction, but it's not logical because the Bible does say this world is in a fallen state, and the people in this world are sinning before heaven. As a fact, so you're going to get liars, thieves, robbers, rapists, going around the city, as the Bible says, deceiving and being deceived. You're going to get religious people thinking, this is the correct religion, this is, this is how to do it, and then get all upset if you don't do it, and then try and behave. It's very immature. Very immature indeed. Very immature. Jesus loves you. And so, if you've got a true relationship with God, you're going to share the love of God. Jesus says, you know a tree by its fruit. You know a tree by its fruit. If someone tells you you're a Christian, and they're full of hatred, they're full of wickedness, they're doing sin, then they are not a Christian. Your spirit has not been born again inside them. 
Yes, and some things to come and sense where you are oppressed. But we never have to know the consequences for the sense because then you understand what the gospel is. I myself, even I smoked and I drank for several years after I became born again. So I knew my soul was saved through the power of the Spirit. I continued to smoke and drink sometimes until God spoke to me about it and I gave that up as well. But I was saved when I gave my life to Jesus. When I asked him into my life, that was the moment I was saved. I was also baptized with water and also baptized of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is real. There are nine spiritual gifts, etc. So anyway, pay for the feast of lights, those around you. She's going to say, um, for God showed me to stop filming just now and get a drink and I'll sit and join Zachariah and have a drink.